Airstream's shiny metal trailers are a symbol of freedom and wealth. It's a piece of retro chic design that's never lost its lore. Even if you've never thought about owning a travel trailer before, you probably secretly lust after one of these homes away from home. The Nest, starting at $45,900, is different. After decades of aluminum, Airstream introduced fiberglass into the mix. And while the exterior looks vastly different from the rest of the lineup, the interior is just as cozy and smartly laid out as its gleaming in the sun cousins. While towing the 16 foot, 7 inch long trailer along the back roads and highways of Northern California, I noticed people that would just about pass me then slow down so they could get a better look at the nest. I don't know if it was the Airstream name or the design, but I do know it turned quite a few heads, and for good reason. What it lacks in iconic design, it makes up for in a sort of futuristic quirkiness. It's something that Eve would design for her and Wally to go on vacation because, you know, robots got a vacation too. From the covered propane tank and batteries behind the hitch to the LED lights on the awning, it's an exercise in overt minimalism. The interior, while conveying a sense of cleanliness and space, I mean, look, I can reach my arms from here to here and I got long arms, is actually pretty feature packed. There's a refrigerator with an ice box, there's a microwave. There's a hidden propane range, there's a sink, there's a hot water heater. There are eight, that's right, eight USB ports so you can charge, well, everything. And there's tons of little storage spaces. Typically when you go camping, maybe you'll bring some chili or something you just cook really quickly over the campfire. But when you're in a $46,000 trailer, there's only one thing you can cook, and that's steak. Making steak, making steak. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to eat my breakfast. And here, we have the bathroom, which is really just a shower and the toilet shoved into the same space. Now, there's a lot of jokes I can make about this, but only kids in junior high would find them funny. Now, I actually like this little space. I took a shower in here. I did my, my business in here and it was fine. My only real issue is that the drain is off center. It's not in the middle of the room, which meant when I went on a trip and I didn't quite level the nest, that there was some water collecting right there. And in the middle of the night, when I had to go pee, I got to stand in a cold puddle. At the front of the nest is this table. Now this table transforms into a bed. Now there's nothing innovative about a trailer that transforms its table into a terribly uncomfortable bed. In fact, for years, people have been bringing extra mattresses or just dealing with the fact that they're gonna wake up with a sore back. But here's the thing, this hodgepodge of cushions, it's actually comfortable. My wife and I slept great. And at six foot three, I, I fit. I know, I'm surprised too. That's actually my overall experience with the nest. Everything worked and when it didn't, it was probably my fault. Like when I couldn't get the furnace to switch on. Turns out, I forgot to flip the breaker button when I hooked up the trailer. After that, I could turn on the heat, and I even tried the roof-mounted air conditioner. Well, at least for a few minutes. Of course, it was 43 degrees outside. Airstream says it'll sleep too, which is great for couples on a long weekend. My wife and I were able to squeeze past each other and use both counters at the same time. But that's two or three days. A week? Probably not. For a single person, yeah. For a couple, I don't think so. Also, I do wish there was some more actual tech stuff in the Nest for that $46,000 price tag. The Nest does have Bluetooth controlled lights, which is really just a strip of LEDs. And the funnest thing you can do with it is have it go to music. So we can't get the rights to like cool music. So we're just gonna do this. But being able to control all the lights with my phone or voice would have been a nice addition. But overall, I really like the Nest. It's great for three-day weekend jaunts, and if you're not sold on the non-metallic exterior, there's also the $9,000 cheaper base camp that kind of looks like a Cylon driving down the road, or the more traditional sport. But sometimes you have to break with tradition, and that's what Airstream did, with something that's futuristically charming. <laughs>